are you laughing at? Good morning, everybody. Today is just another day. We're taking care of the taking care of the homestead while Josh is hunting, which he actually should be back pretty soon. And it's been eventful. I really wish I would have gotten footage yesterday of our storm, but yesterday been a pretty gnarly, just random micro burst storm coming up out of nowhere. It's pretty weird. Hi, Athena. I gotta clean your pen again. You're kinda dirty. You're dirty. I'm covered in flies. I'm sorry, baby. So that really crazy out of nowhere storm we had yesterday, it came up from behind me from the south and because the way the pole barn is it only protects from the top so all the wind and the rain blew into the pole barn and poor Athena I had to come out here and sit with her actually because she was soaked to the bone she was scared the wind was really loud and really strong like I was joking saying hurricane force winds but now I'm wondering if it really was because it's a lot of damage on the property the poor alpines i had to build them like a, a lean-to against the fence i had to protect i felt another lean-to right in the middle just to give them some kind of shelter because the wind and the rain was just so bad it was cold really cold which is pretty normal for this time of year in in yuma and welton Look at you ladies. Look at you guys. So season we're estimating to kid in the next today. I'd say like actually you kid in the next 25 to 40 days, honestly. It's really hard to say just because we missed her breeding. Oh sorry, we didn't miss it. I saw it. I didn't I didn't notate it properly. So I messed her I messed her due date up. Her due date, I'm fairly confident, is Thanksgiving. We'll see who goes first. Hi sweetie. These are great meat goats in case anybody wants Kikos. If anybody's interested and in if we have any bucklings born, we will we'll band them. So yeah, once we get meat goats born and we figure out who we're keeping and who we're getting rid of. If anybody's interested in getting into the Kikos, let us know. We'll, we'll have a couple for sale. Probably won't have a whole lot, but something's better than nothing, right? Also in the spring, I'm, we'll have hopefully two sets of Alpine babies if this one gets bred. I don't know if she's getting bred because she might have a, a middle of the night standing heat for all I know. If anybody wants dairy goats, should have kids in the spring. We'll see. Hi, Turk Turks. I see you guys have been wandering around in the mud. Hi, Dudley. Is moody. It's one eyed moody. Now, of course, all the trash and the goats tearing. Oh, it's your guys' fault, too. Yep. Go to one look, you're still here. I don't even know. Yeah, we gotta clean up this property. It's pretty gross. 
Oh, the turkey poop. Oh, the turkey poop. Hey, girls. And boy. And other boy. Yeah, if today's not too windy, today might be hard to clean up. Just come out here and we want to show you guys, actually. So in case anybody's wondering why my husband wanted to pick this specific property out of all the houses we were looking at, this is why we went with our property. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. And the nice thing is, is down there, let's see if I can get a good shot. So there's like a, a line of trees right here. And that line of trees is the Gila River. So on a nice breezy day and the wind is coming from the north, we get a nice cool Gila River breeze. I love it. Hi Dudley. I know, you're just checking on the place. I'm gonna call you Hagrid. I don't know yet. So I'm trying to figure out if you're tall or not. I think you're tall. Yeah, check this out. We had praying mantis legs right there. Hope they're still viable after all the shenanigans with the rain and the wind. buddy. My little chore buddy. <laughs> Since his nanny's asleep, he's got to come with me for chores. Uh, is that comfortable? <laughs> the weirdo. <laughs> it's a nice day outside. It's a really nice day outside. Even with the mild humidity. I could get used to this. This is nice. So kind of small food for thought. I guess you can call it morning coffee talk without having my coffee in hand because it's inside. Um, I've been considering after the spring potentially switching gears on something we do on the homestead because it's come to my attention that we might value the cow over the, the dairy goats. We're gonna keep the meat goats, obviously, but there's potential of me switching gears on the homestead. And I might turn that entire pole barn right there into one big pasture. And I might get just, a, I might just get another cow. I might just, switch gears and go and steer away from dairy goats and go to dairy cows. We'll see. We'll see what the next few months tells me. Because it all depends. Well, if you guys liked this short, sweet video today, please like, please subscribe, and share with all your friends. And I will be making another video in the near future about Josh's hunting adventures. <laughs> 